Hello, Facebook Live. Hello, happy Saturday, April 11th. Um, how's, how's everybody doing? It is um, Saturday about 1 p.m. right now and going live for the second time today. I want to talk about our tuna. Our tuna and why our tuna is so different. Um, our tuna is one of our best-selling dishes here at the restaurant. It's been a bestseller for, geez, since we opened 17 years ago. Our tuna, our albacore tuna that's crusted with sesame seeds with the uh, sriracha, the sriracha mayo, and then the peanut sauce with a little, um, comes with rice as an entree and with uh, sesame carrots. So I'm gonna talk about that specific tuna and why that tuna is different than almost all the tuna you're gonna find in the in restaurants and even on in fish markets. It's a very different type of tuna. So there's, I think 48, 49, there's, there's around 50 species of tuna. So when you hear the word tuna, um, you can have many different types of tuna. First of all, um, white tuna, uh, when you see that in a restaurant, uh, in a sushi, sushi, sushi restaurant, anything called white tuna is not tuna, so it's really escalar. Escalar is not a fish that I would recommend consuming. Escalar gives, makes a lot of people sick. It gives a lot of people the runs. It's not something that, um, I think that a lot of people have a, a threshold of Escalar or quote unquote white tuna. So if you see white tuna on the market in, um, in a Japanese restaurant sushi, white tuna, there's no such thing as Escalar. They've renamed it white tuna because it sells better. So let's talk about our tuna. Our tuna that is our albacore tuna we've had on the menu for 17 years here at Aroma Time. By the way, before I jump into the tuna, a couple new things just arrived today. We have this beautiful, beautiful kale. Look at this, this red Russian kale, uh, organic red Russian kale. This is here. Uh, I got uh, 24 bunches, that's gonna go fast. Coconuts are back in stock, Young Thai coconuts. Uh, $6 each or two for 10. I did a video the other day on how to crack a coconut. Uh, a lot of people like that video. It got a lot, of, got tons and tons of views. So, what makes our tuna different, our albacore tuna? All right, so, First of all, I did a video two days ago on, or maybe yesterday, I've done, done a couple of videos on one of the ingredients in fish that you want to avoid, and that's carbon monoxide, AKA odorless gas. Most tuna you see in the stores, in sushi restaurants, frozen in packages, frozen tuna steaks, they have been gassed, carbon monoxide or AKA odorless gas. That gas is there to make the fish look beautiful, to bring out the color and in the result, when the fish goes bad, you can't see it going bad because the fish still looks colored. It's art of, quote unquote artificially color enhanced, all right? They don't add a dye, but it's color enhanced where it doesn't look like it should be. It has this beautiful color. All right, so the tuna we use is this albacore tuna. Nothing like, this is a frozen piece. This is nothing like that bright, bright tuna that you would see. So this tuna, of course, is ungassed. But the good point about the tuna that we use, this albacore tuna, is it comes from the Pacific Northwest. So from Washington State, from Oregon. Some catches go up into British Columbia. We get the American caught and American processed. Um, there is British Columbian um, albacore tuna on the market. The season is short. It lasts about six weeks or so in the summertime. The boats go out, they catch all the fish. The boat goes out sometimes for the whole six weeks. Catches all the fish, they freeze it right on the boat as soon as they catch it flash frozen, processed flash frozen, and the bow heads back. These fish are small fish. They're small fish, about 20 pound fish. I mean, this is, this is the size of, of a half a loin, all right? This is about nine ounces, the size of a half a loin. If you were to extend it, it would go about that big. So that's about the size of the tuna loins, okay? These fish are about that big, head to tail. So that's about the size of the tuna loin. You have four loins per, per fish. So. It's about a 20 pound, 25 pound fish. The good news about these fish are they line catch them, they pull line catch them. So one hook, one fish. There's no bycatch issues. They're not netted. They're not going through extra stress. All sushi grade fish, folks, when you see sushi grade tuna on the market and you see it, that tuna is caught with one hook, one line. It is impossible, or, two, or salmon, if you see wild salmon, it's impossible to net, cat, net, net catch fish and have them sushi grade. What happens in the net is the fish go into the net and they go under a lot of stress and they're in there for hours upon hours upon hours and they beat themselves up, especially gill netting. I've just tried gill netting a lot of times. You have a whole small fish swim through, no problem. The big fish get caught, they go back and they catch their gills and the fish flaps all day and beats itself up and it becomes very bruised and damaged. 
that fish is not good for sushi fish. It's gone through stress and it has a lot of bruising. The head isn't, the head is mangled. A lot. The fish becomes mangled through this process of catching it. All sushi fish is line caught, all right? So it's one hook, one, one, uh, one fish. You catch the fish, you bring it up, the fish doesn't go under much stress and that's it. So this tuna is line caught tuna. Line or pole caught tuna, same thing. One hook, one fish. These fish are about 20, 25 pounds, which means they're old enough to reproduce, but they're young enough, small enough, to not bioconcentrate all the harmful mercury. Tuna has a bad reputation, has a, a bad reputation for um, being full of mercury, high levels of mercury content. That's because you have these massive tunas. Jay, can you just check those beans? Yeah. Just make sure they're not boiling over. Yeah, those, we have these massive, some of these massive, massive tunas, several hundred pounds. These tunas are very old. They eat other fish. They bioconcentrate what's in their environment. So if one fish eats something, then another fish eats that fish, and by the time the tuna eats it, it's eating a series of fish that then passed on mercury and other chemicals into the fish, and those build up in the fat stores of the fish, the tuna. So these, this is why tuna, particularly, has a lot of mercury. This is an older fish, larger fish, been around longer and bioconcentrates from other fish in the environment. So these tunas, being small tunas, they're not old enough to have that harmful levels of mercury. This is 1 20th of the mercury level of any other tuna out there. Literally 1 20th. A very, very small fraction of, the, of, of, of what's in this tuna compared to the other tunas that are out there. So, tuna is not something that you wanna like buy cans of tuna and just consume this on a daily, regular basis because of the mercury levels. So this tuna here is the far safest tuna on the market. And that's what makes our tuna different. We have this tuna now for sale in these loins. It's about a six, eight, nine ounce loin right here. I don't even know the price. The price is on our website. Let me see if I can grab it really quick. Um, we've been selling a lot of tuna. We've been selling a lot of salmon. Um, let's see, tuna, tuna, tuna. Um, $18.99 a pound. $19 a pound for this tuna. Um, again, if you called Alaska Wild, uh, Alaska, I'm sorry, Alaska Gold, which is where all of our products come from, a lot of our fish come from from Alaska, Alaska Gold, you would pay more online getting it shipped to your house. We've offered these same high quality ingredients at a savings. Our salmon is $85 a case savings. That's how much of a savings it is if you bought a case of salmon from us versus buying a case of salmon from Alaska Gold. It's the same salmon. That's where we're buying it from, Alaska Gold. It's a uh, co-op in Sitka. Um, 500 fishermen, uh, line caught, line caught uh, vessels that go out and cat, line caught, troll catch fish. So that's the deal with our tuna, our halibut, and our salmon. We have, and our, and black cod's coming next week. We have black cod coming from Alaska. Black cod is also called butterfish. Um, same price as our halibut. And the halibut is, we're sold out right now, but it'll be back in Wednesday or Thursday, the halibut. Um, the halibut is $21.99 a pound. By the way, scallops, I might have five pounds of scallops off today. We got in several cases of scallops today and people can keep calling for scallops. So it's a 10 to 20 count scallop per pound. They come in five pound increments, no chems, dry packed, no soaking. You thaw these scallops and they are nice and plump. You cook them, they stay nice and plump. They are amazing, amazing scallops. So um, those are gonna be in and out today. We've already had a lot of people call for those. I think I have five pounds left, so one five pound unit. Um, so folks, that's just uh, the deal on our tuna. Low mercury, line caught, st uh, sushi grade, and no chemicals, no carbon monoxide. If you wanna learn more about what you should not be having in fish, the polytriphosphates and the carbon monoxide, look at my video that I made two days ago here on Facebook. It talks all about that. We also sent it out uh, in an email, if you're if an email subscriber. It's also on our YouTube channel two ingredients that are banned in other countries that are in our fish supply, that are rampant in our fish supply. I walked into a restaurant depot a few weeks ago and I took pictures of all the labels of all the freezer fish and like nine out of 10 of them had either gas or, or sodium tripolyphosphate. Most of them had gas, a lot of them had sodium tripolyphosphate. There was like one or two species of fish through that whole section of fish, everything from pompano to, to tilapia um, to Madai, to um, catfish, you name it, all had sodium tripolyphosphate and or, sometimes both, and or an odorless gas. Um, so 
uh, the odorless gas is carbon monoxide. So check out my YouTube video and my Facebook Live video on that. Folks, we are open today at three o'clock. We're doing ham dinners for Easter. We have some Beeler, Beeler family ham in. Uh, it's pasture raised, no nitrates in the ham, no hormones or antibiotics, GMO free. It's awesome ham, it is amazing ham. And it's served with our creamy polenta and roasted root vegetables. We have some roasted Norwich Meadow Farms carrots and radishes that came in today. We're gonna roast those, glaze them with a little sherry vinegar and a little bit of evaporated coconut blossom sap. Um, they're gonna be amazing. Uh, all those things you reheat, you get them cold, we pouch them for you in a pouch just like this. They go in a pouch just like this, you take them home, drop them in a little bit of simmering water and it reheats just like that and it's beautiful. No need, need to microwave. So we're making it super easy for you to do that. If you wanna buy extra, you can buy extra and you can hold it all week because it's gonna come sealed in a pouch just like this. We have one of those professional cryovac machines and a metered scale so we can have the ability to vacuum pack things and make them extremely fresh. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, 647-3000, we open at three o'clock today and we're, uh, we're here now. If you wanna come and pick anything up, call 647-3000. All right, folks, talk to you later.